What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today we are going to be talking about everything that we know about the Call of Duty World War II single player campaign. So, uh, obviously the past couple of days have been pretty insane. A couple of days ago we had the official reveal where we got the trailer, the long live stream, all sorts of questions were answered, and we got a ton of information. Now, yesterday I put up a video talking about everything that we've learned about multiplayer, and even though everything during this reveal was focused on single player, we actually learned a lot about multiplayer. So if you guys didn't see that video, it's going to be the first link down in the description and make sure you guys go check it out now in today's video We're going to be talking about everything about the single player and let me tell you guys I think this is going to be an absolutely amazing single player now I'm personally a huge fan of of the Call of Duty single player campaigns. In fact, that's actually the first thing that I do every single year. It's become, you know, kind of a, a routine for me is that I'll sit down and beat the campaign first before I ever hop into multiplayer. And that's sort of weird, right? Like my channel is 100% based on multiplayer. Obviously over time, I end up playing a lot more multiplayer than I do campaign, but I just, I love the single player campaign of Call of Duty's. Most of them are absolutely fantastic. And I just, I, I almost feel like it's one of the best like forms of media that we get every year. Like even though Call of Duty has three huge modes it has to split its time on, you've got single player, you've got co-op and you've got multiplayer. I still feel like the Call of Duty single player is better than a lot of single player only focused games. I feel like the Call of Duty single player is better than a lot of movies out there. So uh, I may be a little bit biased, but I seriously, I think this one's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see what Sledge does. I think this is gonna be one for the books. And now um, the entire campaign is gonna be based in the European theater of World War II, primarily in 1944 and 1945. So all of those hugely iconic and devastating battles that took place in Europe, that is where we're gonna be on the ground fighting in the trenches. And that's really, really exciting. Obviously some of the most iconic battles of all time. I am kind of sad to hear that we won't be seeing anything in the Pacific. So like, you know, Hawaii and Japan and East Asia and stuff like that. But if you guys want to get crazy, maybe that means we could have kind of like a, a secondary game coming from Sledgehammer three years from now that focuses more on the Pacific side of things. I don't know. That's getting pretty crazy. That's pretty far off. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But uh, yeah, this game is going to be focused entirely on all the stuff that happened over in Europe. Now, uh, the developers said that in terms of the campaign, their focus was to keep things dark, beautiful, and truthful. And this is really, really important to them because for the younger generation of players, this is gonna be their first major interaction with World War II. There haven't been that many huge World War II movies or games or anything like that that have come out recently. And these forms of media are so much easier to relate to and empathize with than just simply reading something out of a textbook, especially for this younger generation. So for a lot of these guys, Call of Duty World War II is gonna be their first major taste of what World War II was. It's gonna have a huge impact on their perception of what this, you know, kind of like world-defining war was. And Sledgehammer's taking that very, very seriously. So they wanna keep it true to what it actually was, which was dark. Like, it, this thing's gonna be brutal. There's gonna be a lot of blood, a lot of grit, a lot of dirt, probably some gore. I mean, it's gonna be a very, very intense campaign. And it, it's really gonna tug on your heartstrings because, I mean, that's what it was back in the day. So that's, that's very, very exciting. It should be a very, very cool story. Now, speaking of the story, it follows Ronald Daniels. His nickname is Red, and he's an ordinary 19-year-old from Texas. So that was one of the, the major quotes there in the trailer. It's like, you ain't in Texas no more, farm boy, or something like that. But so yeah, he was just an ordinary kid living in Texas, and then all of a sudden he finds himself in the biggest and bloodiest battle in history. And unfortunately, that's the same story for a lot of normal, ordinary kids during the 1940s. And uh, it follows the story of Red along with his platoon and everything they kind of go through and experience. Obviously, friendship and camaraderie are a huge focus, and Red's platoon plays a really important role not only in the story, but also in the gameplay. So Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield and the rest of the team have really switched up the mechanics of the campaign this time around, and hopefully it's really, really cool. It's definitely going to add to the realism. So Schofield says that you are not a superhero. You can't just stand there taking seven bullets, duck, and then get back up and shoot again. You're more vulnerable this time. Now, what does this mean? Well, it turns out that the different members of your squad actually have different abilities to help you in the game. So, for example, health does not regenerate 
in the campaign of Call of Duty World War II. You guys heard that right. So let's say you're up, you're shooting, you get hit a couple of times, you duck down behind cover. In previous Call of Duty games, you wait like three seconds and then you're back to full health. Well, it does not work like that in this game. You have to ask your medic for help. So your medic platoon mate is gonna have to run over, he's gonna have to bandage you up, and then you're gonna have to get back into the fight. So obviously that's gonna add an entire new layer of difficulty and strategy. There's other stuff too, like you can't just pick up ammo, you have to ask your squad to throw you a new magazine. So it just, it makes everything so much more intense, so much more difficult, all of your bullets count. It's just like, it sounds like it's gonna make the game so much more realistic. I'm really, really excited for it. I think this is gonna be a fantastic addition to the campaign. And who knows, we might actually end up getting a multiplayer mode that's got kind of a similar feel to it. Now, another thing that they mentioned is that you can actually end up losing members of your squad. And this means one of two things. Like, for example, you could get split up to where your medic ends up over on the other side of the battlefield. And if you're hit, you've got to somehow make your way over there to him. Or your squad mates can actually die. So imagine if your medic dies in that mission, you can no longer be healed for the rest of the mission. That sounds pretty insane. And like I said, it's just, it's another layer of difficulty and of realism. And I can't wait to see this. Like, this is seriously, out of all the things they announced the other day, this is probably the the, one of the things that I'm most excited about. Now, finally, last but not least, we have a couple of example missions of what we can expect. So far, we really haven't seen any like mission gameplay or anything like that. I can't wait until we do we'll probably get some sometime soon. But so we did get a couple of descriptions of missions and some of the things we're going to end up doing. So there's one that takes place in the Hurtgen Forest. Hopefully I said that right. I'm not sure how to say it, but um, it's an old growth forest on the German border where allied forces engage in devastating encounters. In the heat of battle, the German army uses tree burst bombs that detonate at treetop level, showering soldiers with wooden shrapnel. When your unit is zeroed in on by hostile artillery, the forest explodes around you as debris rains down. So holy cow. Like seriously, you're in the middle of a forest. The Germans have set up tree bombs to explode and make wood fly everywhere as artillery is raining down. How epic of a mission does that sound like? And then another one that we have is obviously Normandy. So D-Day, June 6th, 1944. One of the most bloody and just gruesome battles of all time. From inside a Higgins landing boat, your squad will storm Omaha Beach in a visceral audiovisual experience unlike any D-Day landing experienced in a game to date, you and your fellow soldiers must overcome the enemy defensive to serve as the tip of the spear for the allied invasion. So, I mean, that's just, that's probably the most iconic battle of all time, and uh, that's going to be really, really cool. I'm sure they put a lot into that thing. So, uh, there you guys have it. That, my friends, is pretty much everything we learned about the single player in those live streams. Just like I said, it sounds absolutely insane. I can't wait. You know, honestly, Infinite Warfare was one of the better Call of Duty campaigns I've played in a long time. If you guys didn't play the IW campaign, it actually ended up being really, really good. And I'm hoping that this one is going to be even better. I mean, it's just, oh man, World War II. It just, it doesn't get any better than that. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. If you guys missed our multiplayer video where we talked about everything we learned about multiplayer, again, that's going to be linked down in the description. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.